Never spend six minutes doing something by hand when you can spend six hours failing to automate it. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and I make videos on business process automation. The saying about the automation failure goes back to a tweet by Zhuo Zhang. In this video, I'll show you how to robotic process automate a very simple repetitive task. We will use the Stream Deck, a customizable keypad, to process photos with GIMP. After this video, you should be able to apply this technique to working with office documents like Excel sheets or anything else that comes to your mind. So I really did have this problem recently. I had about 1500 drawings with a white background and I wanted them to have a transparent background because of a new layout for all of my lecture slides. When I tried to do this with a couple of drawings in my image manipulation program called GIMP, I realized that the conversion to transparency only worked in 90% of the cases. I also noticed that doing this by hand would result in a serious mouse finger. I know that GIMP has powerful macros, but as an occasional user of this software, I was never motivated to learn how to use them. So I thought, this is a case for attended robotic process automation. And I would like to use the Stream Deck for this to have a place where to find my little robots. Let's go to the computer and see how it works. Okay, so here on the screen you can see GIMP open and you can see on the top there is a file browser and there are three PNG files and I will just select them all and then drag them into GIMP and then GIMP will open these files in the tabs. And so um, here you can see that all these files have a white background. And so if I go on the Stream Deck and I press white to alpha PNG, it will do a couple of steps for me. It will click several times and then in the end it will close the file and so I'm already on the next file and I can press again and while it does this I watch this so this is really attended RPA and see if everything is going well and so all I have to do is one click with my finger on the stream deck for one photo as opposed to I don't know how many clicks with the mouse and movement and everything Okay, now that we have seen how this works when it's operating, let's see how it was programmed. And for this, um, I have the Stream Deck software open here. And um, as you can see, uh, when I pull these icons from left to right or anywhere, they are also changing their place on the Stream Deck. Um, but um, let's just go to the actions that are in this macro. So the macro is called Y to Alpha PNG and I can go here on these 19 actions and it's in fact a multi-action in the Stream Deck and this is the series of commands. So it's purely linear and um, it starts with um, a system hotkey color to alpha. So if I click on this I can see that this is the letter J, so this is the hotkey in GIMP for color to alpha. And then it does shift tab two times um, to go back to the right spot. And then it says system hotkey OK, so here we have a return. So this is pressing the return right now. And then it starts to export. And the export short key in GIMP is control shift E. So here you can put that in. And then there is a delay because that takes some time, so in this case uh, 1000 milliseconds. And then it goes on, it does shift tab twice, um, it exports, uh, there is a, another delay, replace and so on. And finally it closes um, with control W and then uh, another shift tab and then it says disk 
card changes, so there is another return to give answers to all the questions that GIMP is answering. So, um, 19 very simple things that you can input, and you can do this with any software that allows keyboard macros. And that's it. Easy, isn't it? And the beauty is that you can do this with almost any application. Try it yourself and let me know in the comments how it works.